Let's call it what it is. These last three games for the Cardinals in Pittsburgh mean virtually nothing. The Cards know they'll be hosting the Wild Card Series this weekend, and all that's left is to get pitchers some work and keep guys healthy. Oh yeah, and see if Albert Pujols has any more regular season moments left in him. The Pirates honored Yachty and Albert with some cool custom bases before this one tonight. And as scheduled, here's your nightly Pujols moment. A two-run single in the third to put the cards ahead. He'd hit the pepper grinder coming up here and come out of the game right after that hit. Here's what you don't want to see, though. Star closer Ryan Helsley had to leave the game as a precaution with a jam finger. You know they're going to need him this weekend. This game went to extras where Juan Yepes was the hero in the 10th. He drives in the winning run. Cardinals win 8-7. to seven. So if he doesn't play tomorrow, and that's the last we see of Albert in the regular season, he certainly went out in the place he's owned the most in his career. With tonight's stats included, Albert finished with a career average of 374, 35 home runs, and 101 RBIs at PNC Park. By far the best stats of any stadium in his career. I get the feeling Pirates fans won't be too sad to see him go. The Cardinals look like they could be on deck to face the other Pennsylvania team in the wild card round, and the Cards and Phillies have had some classic playoff moments over the years. Of course, there was the rally squirrel you saw right there in 2011, and the memorable NLDS clincher in that series, thanks to Chris Carpenter's Game 5 gem. These 2022 Phillies can beat you with a long ball, courtesy of guys like Kyle Schwarber and Bryce Harper, but as you might expect, the Cards, they don't really care who they're matched up with. That's everything in our mind, you know, like winning, winning the trophy. Um, right now we in a really good spot waiting for whoever to come and um, we're going to be ready for them, whoever it is. Elsewhere in the baseball world, Aaron Judge was making some history tonight in Arlington. Here's his 62nd home run of the season. That passes Roger Maris for the single season record in the American League. Certainly one of the most impressive seasons we've seen in recent memory. Before the regular season even starts for the Blues, they've got some big questions on defense. They already knew they were going to be without veteran Marco Scandella, and today they learn they lose up-and-comer Scott Perunovic for at least six months due to shoulder surgery. The Blues had a preseason game tonight, too, hosting the Minnesota Wild. First up, it's going to be a sick feed from Robert Thomas, which we see all the time. We're used to that. Pavel Buchnevich buries that one for the beauty. Later on, it's going to be the youngster Jake Neighbors trying to crack the squad. He gets in on the phone with a goal there. Blues went on to win it 4-2. to two. Now let's get back to Perunovic and his injury. Here's what Craig Berube had to say earlier in the day. Yeah, it's tough for him, tough for the team. Um, he can't catch a break. You know, we're taking a look at a lot of guys here in camp on the back end now. With Scandi and Perunovic uh, being out for quite some time, so we're going to need guys to play. Well, if you think your fantasy football league is cutthroat, just be glad you're not in John Ham's league. St. Louis's native son was on Monday Night Football's Manning cast last night, dishing on his league filled with other celebrities that has a pretty compelling incentive for winning the title each year. It's uh, Jimmy Kimmel's league, and we, uh, we decided at a certain point, Bill Simmons is in it, Cousin Sal, we got a bunch of guys in it, and that the winner of the league would get to kick out one person at the very beginning, but you didn't, you, you could not say who it was going to be until the day of the draft. Mike, I'm glad our uh, league doesn't do that, but I will yeah. give you a shout out because you have one win, I have one win, but your one win came against me this year yeah. in a pretty, pretty dominating fashion. Yeah, so but I'll give you again, props. Corey, for both of us, just one win so That's far. That's true. This year. That's true. Not good. <laughs> no. All right. Thanks, I know Corey. nothing. <laughs> All right.